you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric projection now when you hear the word isometric projection the first thing you have to do is for you to draw your word your isometric axis right by taking your instrument is that again drawing your x axis this way right draw your, your plane surface this way now and this to be your y axis can you see that and um, we use this to get the z axis all inclined at an angle of what 30 degree in this fashion hope you can see that now the next thing you do after you've done that is to draw your entire length width and height so the entire length here is given to be from 74 as you can see so i am going to measure 74 taking from this point of reference to be from zero can you see that to 74 this is 74 here and the width given to be what 50 so from here also i'll measure 50 as you can see from zero to what 50 then the height is given to be 35 plus 22 right you must add these ridges to it and that will give us 57 so i'm going to measure 57 from here from zero to 57 this is 57 here now i'll use those things to form a box right so in doing that i'll take my instrument and those points i'll generate them upward this way i'll come here to generate here upward to this way and i'm going to close it up this way Connect this to this. Then I'll do here also. Right, and um, let me bring it down a little bit. No closing to. And her also from here. Hope you can see that. This is what we have here. Now we've brought out the shape. The next thing is let me zoom it up a little bit or leave it this way. The next thing we'll do is to I'll start from the back, right? The thickness you can see. From here to here is 12. So the thickness around it is what is 12. So what I just need is just get one part of it this way. Measure 12 from here. From 0. Then 11. 12 here. This 12 at that line here. Can you see that? And I will just take it round this way. I'll take it round this way. Faint line. Faint line. Do the trick. Can you see that? And the next thing I'm going to do is 
from the back here now we have a radius of what 22 so it means that you measure 22 from here making 44 because that's the radius 22 is the radius 44 is the diameter so you're going to measure 44 that will do the trick so if i take my meter rule from here i'll measure 44 right then 22 hope you can see that you can better for you to even use your compass from here to here then this point here this is where it is then i'll close it up this way see what i'm doing i'll close it up this way this and uh, this measure that and i'll take it down also this way this and this and this right then this also now the radius i use here to get this i will use to mark down here don't make that mistake i mark down here that is where it is actually meeting at that point here this is where they are meeting right and i'll just close it up hope you can see that now i am going to join here to these two And here also to this point too. Just mark this point. Now, if I connect, how many circles do you have? If you look closely, you have one, two, three, like three arcs. So I'm going to draw this to this first of all. Now I'll come here too. I'll mark this to this also. Hope you can see that. Now the third one is you measure it away from this side. Just like you can see that it you can see there. So measure it from that side. So from zero to it. Is that the key? And I'm going to project it upward. This one too, this way. Then bring it down to this way. I don't really need, need to do that. I'll just connect from here to this point. Hope you can see that. So we're making three, right? Now the same way we've been doing all along using approximate method to control to this arc there because they're electrical in shape, right? So I've already gotten this point here, that is where they are meeting. I will just draw a line across that point using still my instrument. So from here, I'll close it up. Can you see that? I don't have to stress myself with the rest. Let's just focus on this. Now once I've done that, I'll now pick a point from this end to the other end here and from this end to the other end here so this is where they are meeting so once I've done that I'll take my compass place it at this end then connect this point to this point Then I'll come to this point too. Then I'll connect this point 
to this point. Hope you can see that. This point to this point. Let me make it more slow. Can you see that? So after you've done that, I will transfer this point <coughs> to the rest point. <coughs> so like this one here, I'll move it to uh, this point and this point. This one here, I'll move it to this point and this point. Hope you can see that. So if I want to get the other aspect now, once I place it at the back one here, I'll get a curve this way. So I don't really need to stress myself. I'll just draw this arc that will touch this here. Can you see that? And that is only what I just need there. You can decide to place it here also. At this point here, if I want to, and let's use faint line, let's do this. Not much till there. So I'll connect from this point, as you can see, from here to here is connected. So I'm going to connect from this point to this point here. Can you see that? And I also connect from this point to this point, which is from this point to this point. Can you see that? So after I've done that, I'm going to do the other one too. Let's take your compass. Since you place this one here to get it up. Yeah, that one that will be somewhere around here. That will meet it at this point. Let me extend it so you see what I'm talking about. That will meet it at this point here. Exactly at this point. Right? So we know that the thickness from here to here should be the same thing as saying from here to here. So that is where it is. So I'm going to draw it this way to come here. From this point. I also did the same thing here too. The same measurement from here to here. So meaning that from here, as you can see on the diagram, I'm going to connect it to this point here. You can see that. And the next one is coming from this point. So I'll just place it here. I'll connect this one. Connect this point. So down this way. This is where this line I draw is meeting this last line here. And this is where I'll place my compass out there. And I will draw an arc on this point this way. I will be touching this slide. Sorry. I will be touching this side to this side. I hope you can see that. Now, from that side here, from here, let me show you. I will draw a line from here. As you can see, that is going to touch this line here. Where I can bring this down to this way. Right? Now, you see, you can take in here out too, this way. Oh, you can see that, and I can easily start moving this point to this point here, as you can see. Mm 
then move on this point to this point here. I'll be very careful. As you can see, so it's remaining there is a fillet here. So let's do that. Now, if you look here, you see a fillet here, and the radius is given to be what 12. So it's as simple as this. We know that from here to here is 12, or you can measure 12 on your meter rule. You place it at this point to this point is 12, right? You come here, you're going to mark 12 here, also 12 here, and you're going to continue another 12 and you continue another 12 right and you just make it form a box on this point i have this i'll come here too on this point i have this and from here i have this and from here and this right and i can still just bring it down see what i want to do i still bring it down this way i also bring it down this way which i will connect this to it's already there can you see that it's just at this point so this is one important point here and i'll bring it down to it right so we can now do what we want to do so just take your compass don't stress yourself much just place it here at this point mm -hmm. and you come here so you connect from here to here sorry shooting so you connect from here to here right and you come down to do the same thing you connect from here to here out there so you will just stick in them ticking them this is what you will be having which is coming from here going straight to touch here right and this is coming from here going straight to go here right and this is coming from here coming straight down here and this is coming from here moving here hope you can see that and also this is coming from here coming up to touch here and this is also coming down to touch here. Out there. So, if you look at this circle here, it has a diameter of 12, meaning the radius is what? Is 6, right? So, you're going to measure 6 on your meter rule. From 0, let me put it here. From 0 to 6. Right? From zero here to what to six and you place it here then you mark up you mark down go to the right you come to the left so i'm going to just take this vertical vertical passing through those points you marked Can you see that? So it is very small. My compass will not really do a big deal, but let's just try. So from this point, I'll connect here to here, and from this point, I'll connect from here to here. So they are meeting at this point and at this point. Can you see that? So I can really take my compass and place it here to this point. Then I'm going to draw the arc. Can you see that? And I'll come here to place it at this end to this end here. Can you see that? And I'll 
come from here where it meets to this point. It's so small, we are going to work with it. Then from here to I can easily bring that out this way. So that's what we're going to have here. So do your dimension is very important. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share if possible. Thanks for watching.